that it is end of summer and it's time to prepare the beds for winter. <clears throat> I'm a little bit disappointed about the drop in my compost from when I moved it across into the new bin. But it's all good. It's still good stuff. And I must say that shredder has helped out a lot because it is much finer than it normally would be. Yo, just look at that. Look at that life in the soil. Little red wrigglers. That's a good sign indeed. But um, that's where they live in the compost and they help to decompose things. So the idea is to lay about two to three centimeters on the soil surface. Just um, that would be enough normally for a year. But I have got two trees. I've got the lemon tree and then I've got a Chinese uh, white stinkwood. So I'll probably do it twice a year um, putting down a layer of compost just to make sure. Now the beauty of the no dig garden and organic garden is that there is just a whole host of life. It's almost like a whole ecosystem and these little fellows all help to get rid of the unwanted pests. Although some are not as helpful as others. sift the compost I just put it straight down like that saving some time and the bigger pieces will be pulled into the soil by the earthworms and any other organisms living down there in fact uh, JM Fortier has even proven that um, he stuck uh, popsicle sticks in his beds and um, a couple of months later the earthworms have pulled them into the soil and begin to decompose them making those nutrients available and now we just rake it up and then we can stomp it down a little bit so that the water retention is improved. Oh, look what I found. Look what I found in an ever seed. I'll put them back in the compost heap. So if I had my ducks in a row, then I would have already had these seedlings planted in the trays at least a month or two ago and then they would be ready to go in the ground. But I had some issues with the grow house, so that isn't going to work out okay. like that. Um, but that's how it works, eh? So we'll just roll with the punches. Anyways, this is how you prepare your beds for winter crops. It's really easy and um, it's not a lot of effort or work. And I really hope that you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching. Please will you share with your friends and family and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so.